But the funny thing about that in particular is because it actually has a bit of uh, lore reasoning to it. Which I'm going to explain as soon as we start up this next mission. As soon as we uh, take care of the melancholy soul. Because now it is filled with energy of the boss fight. But first, shadows. Two of them in hard mode. Because it's hard mode. And I will also very, very readily admit to one thing that I commonly do in this mission in particular, is be a bit of a perfectionist. Right. Because with this mission in particular, the only enemies that you have to deal with are these two shadows here. If you manage to do, right. do it with no damage, you get a red ore bonus. Yeah. And Which, I want you know, that red I mean, ore bonus. But yeah, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that, especially if the reward is worth the effort and the means to get that reward. Yeah. So now there's just one left to deal with because one's already dead. Come on. Come on. Do the gimmick. Do the gimmick. There you go, buddy. There you go. Good job. Good job, sport. <laughs> and now I'm going to run away. Good boy. Good dog. Good dog. Good cat. <laughs> back. I just want to No! <laughs> Nice. Yeah, so I did that without taking a lick of damage. So now we just have to go back and go through the door. Let's get out of here. <laughs> I want to go all the way to the bottom. Come on, let me down. All right, there we go. It's sealed shut by immense power. There's something written. This path will open with a guiding soul. Hmm, I wonder if that has something to do with the item I have. Right. <laughs> and that's the entire mission. <laughs> a special bonus for no damage of 2,000 red orbs. Which is a lot of red orbs. It's almost enough to actually get all the upgrades here, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to just pour some, pour them into getting more purple orbs for myself because I want more DT at this point of the game. Because I've, in my practice runs of this game, I have gone through this a decent amount, and really, at the camera, this part is a pain in hard mode in particular because of just the sheer fact that you don't, well, in terms of this playthrough in particular, I don't have a weapon that I'm supposed to have at this point due to a couple enemies that are going to pop up right here. These are uh, the plasmas. They are yeah. not supposed to be attacked by a laster because they are essentially lightning elementals. Electric. But the only weapon I have right now that would reliably deal with them is a laster. Fortunately, it does kill them. It's just not really that consistent. Yeah. Also, I think the attire that they're wearing is interesting because they're supposed to look like Dante. But they look like him in a fucking blade, like a, what's, a vest and a suit. Like, a uh, suit they, vest. Yeah, they look pants. like Dante, except without his coat on. Yeah. So that's kind of cool. And, you know, one-eyed. Well. Also, I'm going to cheese this one out with a gun. Yeah. Because unless he approaches me, I'm going to cheese him out with a gun. I cheesed him out with gun. <laughs> I actually succeeded at that. I did not expect to succeed. <laughs> you may be wondering why I'm not going to the door that, that says progress. That's because, well, besides the plasma that just spawned there, I have something else to go ahead and get over here <laughs> before anything else happens. Green orbs. And this, a red orb fountain. Which, the gist of this is attack it and you get red orbs. And I can also use that to demonstrate all three combos that Dante can do. You can... Let's just go over the basics of the combat first. You have Dante's basic three-hit combo where you mash the attack button like so. Then there's the other two combos that you can do, which is a five-hit combo where 
you press the attack button twice, delay a bit before the third hit, and then just press attack after that. Then you have the third combo, which is the rapid stab, which is essentially the same philosophy. You delay the time you press the button the third time, except by a lot more than if you were trying to do the second combo. And then there's also things like Helm Breaker right here, which is lock on, press back, and the attack button. And then Stinger, which is the same except forward. Right. And that's essentially kept throughout the entirety of the DMC series. Some Later on, it's going to add stuff that's like back forward attack kind of thing with a lock on, but that's going to be something that we handle when we get there. Yeah. Also, most of the time, it's, it's pretty much fist weapons, which is not a spoiler because we get fist weapons in this game. <laughs> yeah. Also, this is when we're supposed to meet the Sin Scissor, except we already met one in Mission th Mission 4, so this is not really that climactic. <laughs> except this time, there's actually a roof. <laughs> right. Which actually, in a way, kind of makes the fight... This this arena makes this fight a pain in the dick, because it's so limited already. Yeah. Which is why what I'm going to try and do is essentially just go into DT and Helmbreaker as many times as I possibly can because DT damage up is ridiculous uh, oh he's already dead okay <laughs> well that was uh, not as bad as I thought it would be <laughs> okay then <laughs> anyway I'm gonna save so that I don't have to do that again and now we actually get to the mission that I was Looking forward to the least out of all of these. Mission 7. You may be wondering why I consider this one the worst. Like, this is the one that I was dreading the most for this session in particular. You can see my health draining at an alarming rate. This one will actually kill me. <laughs> yeah. Can you actually die, or do you just get left at Magic Pixel? P no, uh, pixel. You, this one goes past the Magic Pixel. Also, this... This one is just a straight, like, you drop dead at a certain point. Yeah. Gotcha. And also, Phantom appears again because he's totally not a stalker. <laughs> and, All like, right. before, I'm gonna cheese him for more DT. <laughs> and also, fortunately, they knew that you could probably get hit a lot by that, so they put green orbs there, just in case. And this is what I consider worse. Now we have an enemy to deal with early, Frosts. Oh, and you don't have the amazing. No, nope, I do not weapon. have the fire weapon. No, well, that doesn't even matter about the fire. I also think the idea that it's the fist weapons in general fucking deal with those things really well because it helps you time your attacks way better. Yeah. These enemies are also just a pain to deal with in general. And yeah. Look. They have so many attacks. I just die. Just die already. <laughs> right. Ugh, you know, I don't care at this point. I'm gonna use the Vital Star. Well, there you go. I think DMC 1, I understand using items a little more because it is just such a hard, like, such a hard as ball game. Through archaic design. Okay, one's dead. There we go, both of them are dead. I hate this part so much because of these two enemies in particular. Especially due to the fact that you don't have the weapon that is pretty much their weakness. And is also just a, just a good weapon, period. You don't have both weapons, which is kind of what you really need to get through that part reliably. I'm also going to equip the shotgun just to have an easier time with the part coming up. <laughs> Yeah, see, right there, it does not leave me at Magic Pixel, and I die immediately, because I got hit by one attack from the enemy. The health going down screwed me over. Well, the health going down screwed you over, but you also got attacked. I meant, I meant, will you, okay, if you stand still, will it leave you at Magic Pixel? No. And then you just, you, okay, so you do just drop dead. Because yeah, I've never you, tested it. Yeah, I almost died to this once just because of the gimmick itself but fortunately I did not and oh okay I guess I just gotta climb the stairs I jumped off way too early because I wanted to be fast 
I gotta go bam. But your san your sanic prowess is is the the death of you. Well, I mean, it's either that or the thing that's constantly draining my health. <laughs> An emblem of the sun is engraved. There's something written beneath it. The brightness of the guiding light will scorch you. I can I can feel it. Only those who can bear the light can open the new path. Get rid of the thing that's draining your health. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> it's and weird. Then you're it's done. weird that this, it's weird to me that this isn't the only time the series does this. Yeah, that that C rank I feel is fair. <laughs> like on, I feel like you hype up so hard and then when I try to have a conversation you don't respond to me. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> it's like DMC1, 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 hey leg on, DMC1, yeah whatever. <laughs> Ow. That's what you get. <laughs> yeah, fair You're enough. Shot in the face fair threat. enough. <laughs> you may and now and just you know, backtracking once again, because yeah. like before Secret mission time! This is, this is... You know what? I'm not gonna lie. The the shadow mission isn't as bad as this one. The yeah. shadow mission is... is uh, the shadow mission is beatable reasonably. It just sucks that it's number one... It's only one chance. This one is an actual pain in the dick. And is fucking stupid. And it shouldn't have been put in the game. Actually shouldn't have been put in the game. Yeah. Like... This right one up. just sucks. You might be wondering why I'm jumping around a lot and just not attacking the enemies myself. is because that's a stipulation of the secret mission. You can't attack the enemies. You have to let them kill each other. Correct. Which, I mean, a one minor saving grace of that is that these enemies only have uh, two, three attacks. But at the same time, this is just stupid and... It takes forever. It's not even reliable or consistent. It's just, our, it's just like waiting on the enemy AI to potentially do it, and then it's just like, ugh. Yeah, it's 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 a real. Uh, this mission sucks. Chore. Yeah, I know this mission does suck. I'm also just gonna go ahead and reset so that I can keep a gold orb because this is the like one of the only time in the game where you get a brief reprieve, like it doesn't give you the mission start, mission end screen. Yeah. Which is weird. It is weird. Also, this underground sewer area is very Resident Evil. I mean, I know we're going to keep saying that, but like, it's the truth. I really think that this game's connection to Resident Evil is deeper than people really ever talk about or give it credit for. Sometimes yeah. I feel like this is a Devil May Cry game only in name. In because name and the bad. combat, and nothing else. True. Is it over? Is it over? It's over. It's over. One of them died. You did it. Now you can kill the other one because, yeah. Yeah, because the blue orb fragments already spawned. Yeah. Oh, thank goodness. Good job. It's finally over. This mission sucks. I don't think we can say that enough. This this mission is pretty bad. Yeah. Before anything else happens, I'm gonna save so that I don't have to do that again. I hate Mark that mission business. so much. Ugh. Yeah, no, that mission is fucking trash. I also think that the next mission is probably where I'm gonna call it for this session. Okay. Wait, tired. Unless you want to keep going further than that. Oh, good. We'll see, we'll, see where, we'll, we'll see where we feel. Yeah. Alright. Also, we can look in the mirror again. It's an amazingly beautiful mirror, but still, there's something dark and evil deep within its reflection, as if it's trying to suck me inside. 
totally not foreshadowing anything. Mirror, give me the suck. <laughs> also, I might as well go ahead and show off Dante's idle animation here with Ebony and Ivory specifically. Clean he guns. twirls the guns and puts them right back in his jacket. It looks cool, but as soon as you start moving around, they're suddenly in his hands again. <laughs> Deja vu. This is the opening. This the, that's the beginning room. <laughs> Mission eight begins. The legendary knight returns, but we already beat Nello Angelo. You know, I'm gonna save my red orbs actually for this point. Yay! Free health refill. And there is also another divinity statue in here. Like, you get the power-up screen before the mission starts, and then suddenly another divinity statue. It's like, okay, that totally wasn't redundant. <laughs> right. Hmm, I wonder why there's a giant open arena here. It can't be foreshadowing a boss fight. Oh, look at that. It's a totally not obvious boss fight. <laughs> yeah, it can't be foreshadowing the fact that there is a giant spider boss. Oh, wait, there's a giant spider boss. I don't like you like that, Spider Boss. Leave me alone. <laughs> Finally, I was getting tired of playing your childish game. Also, one thing that I just noticed that they actually did here is that they added a heat distortion effect near uh, Phantom's face. Right. That's kind of cool, actually. Yeah. Well, specifically in the cutscene, at least. Because heat does distort after a while. Yeah. Which is also... It's something that I see all too often living in Florida. Yeah, heat distortion, obviously. Because even the air, you see it a lot. And I killed him by smacking into the back of his tail with my sword. <laughs> nice. And now we suddenly revert back to the PS2 FMVs. So much pixelation. Oh. <laughs> nice. Actually, this is one of the more gruesome scenes in the game. <laughs> yeah. Now, this is where a Leon quip would be said. This cutscene doesn't make all that much sense when you're using the Sparta costume, honestly. Actually, it makes the most sense in a way, because it's like, he's so, he's such a cocky son of a bitch. But like... I mean, I, I meant yeah, more towards uh, Phantom's dialogue. <laughs> and that one well, line in particular was like, I'm his son, Dante! It's like, what? no you're not, you're, you're Sparta. <laughs> well, I guess, it's just, fun it'd be funny to me towards like, yeah, he, he, he looks just like a spitting image of his dad, and yet he can't tell. <laughs> yeah, that would that would be funny. Hey, he's such a bastard. <laughs> yeah, he, uh, he kind of wouldn't stop stalking me, so I decided to end it, call it off. It's like, hey, here's a restraining Thanks. order. <laughs> Thanks, boobs, the character. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I, but true. I would correct you, but you're not wrong. <laughs> no, I'm not. Which is sad, because even playing yeah. Devil May Cry 5, it's like, they really don't fix that problem, do they? No, they really don't. It's and we get a bad. random trident, apparently. <laughs> Let me just explore this area a little bit, try and find a... There it is, there's a red ore found. And now it's time to progress. And just to show even more of the Resident Evil skeleton, every item that you need to progress with plot is interactable. It's a lever used to wind up the drawbridge. It's heavily rusted. A strong downward force may help move the leather. Hit it with the sword. <laughs> that is so Resident Evil. <laughs> Just like that cutscene. Was very Resident Evil. Scorp is a soldier who right. must have wandered into the castle and died from exhaustion. He's holding something. The grenade launcher. <laughs> 
And now we have to do a little puzzle here. There are three openings to insert something. Hmm, the only thing I know to put in there that has three prongs. It's a trident that we just got. <laughs> and now that essentially allows water into this thing to open the gate downstairs to the drawbridge. Unfortunately, it's on a time limit, so we gotta rush. By the way, blue are fragment in the pond. Right. <laughs> One of the easiest ones to miss. Because, you know, it blends in with the water. Well, not even that. It's also because you wouldn't really think to jump in there until this mission. And yeah. even then, I always prefer to save that blue orb fragment for this mission in general. Yeah. Because it's the easiest to grab then. This one is a lot easier to miss, though, because it's in another water puddle right here. But that's it for mission eight. Nice. Phantom has been caught. Has been made the dead.